Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at a beer from Oscar Blues. This is one of their year-round beers. This, my friends, is their 1050, a 10.5%, obviously, Imperial Stout that comes in a 12-ounce can. It comes in four packs, and like I said, it is year-round. I previously reviewed this beer maybe two years ago, but if a week or a day goes by where I don't get a comment or a message or an email about looking at this beer again or reviewing this beer, um, it must be a strange day because you guys must really dig this beer. I know it's one of my favorite beers. Haven't had it in a while. So let me get into a glass so you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the final verdict on Oscar Blues 1050. All right, guys, so the aroma, the 1050. Wow, it smells so good. Big chocolate, coffee, massive coffee on this one, espresso. Big roasted notes, dark fruits, figs, raisins. There's a quad-like character to it that plays off the coffee bitterness and the chocolate bitterness so nicely. Touch of kind of sweet booziness in there, a nice roasted quality to it. Just a big chocolate coffee dark fruit assault on the nose. All right, guys, so the taste on the 1050. Cheers. Oh, this beer is so good, right at the front of the tongue. There's a huge pop of bitterness, dark chocolate, dark, you know, coffee. It's like that 80% cacao kind of dark chocolate bitterness, middle of the mouth. This thing just takes over and does with your tongue what it wants. Huge kind of vanilla sweet undertones in this one, caramel toffee undertones, um, dark fruit, definitely getting a slight fig or raisin kind of sweetness in there, but there's big chocolate, big coffee bitterness, big roasty quality to keep everything kind of reined in and imbalanced. It's like, you know, roasty and sweet and bitter are just kind of fighting it out in your mouth and everyone freaking wins with this beer. 10.5%, it's a nice boozy, warming beer, but it complements the flavors perfectly. Sweet aftertaste, more of kind of a vanilla, dark fruit aftertaste. You know, this one, it's like a less boozy, the brewery's Black Tuesday. It's just so, so well-crafted and just an awesome, awesome beer. And one of the greatest examples of a year-round Imperial Stout that's in existence. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Oscar Blue is 1050, 10.5% alcohol by volume, available year-round. Guys, I have got to give this one an A+. This still, on my list of top 10 beers, is up there. It's a beer close to my heart. It's just a fantastically well-crafted imperial stout. You know, you expect coffee, you expect chocolate, but this one, it has all that. It has these dark fruits, these vanilla undertones, 10.5%. You don't really taste it, but you know it's there, and it's a warming beer, it's a nice sipping beer, it's constantly changing, it ages with the best of them in these cans. Sure, it might be a little expensive, but you know, if this was in a bottle with a wax cap, you'd pick it up at the same price with no questions asked. So I definitely recommend you guys pick up a four pack of this, drink two, put two in the cellar, it ages fantastically. One of the best well-crafted Imperial Stouts on the market, you know, and I just can't say enough about it. It is a year-round beer. For me, it's pretty easy to get. If you guys can get Oscar Blues, you should be able to pick this one up, and it's one of those ones you need to try. It's one I always recommend people getting into craft beer, you know, well, you know, not just getting into it, but people are starting to like Imperial Stouts try because I think it's fantastic, fantastic stuff, and one of my favorite beers, deservingly so. So getting an A-plus from me, and remember, folks, life's too short. Please drink amazing beers. Cheers.